Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. So in this video, I'm going to play Venti's Story Quest. Eh? Since I know Venti is coming soon. Yeah, I want to play Venti's Story Quest first. And also I need some Momora. <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to go to a certain spot. Oh, here. Because she's acting as if she's talking and laughing with somebody else. Imaginary friend. Uh, Paimon's creeped out. What? You mean, you used to act like that too? Uh, so is this an invisible friend who hangs out with you sometimes? Or do they just exist in your imagination? Imaginary. Imaginary. <laughs> Is the same friend, thing? Or? So. so, this imaginary friend of yours. When does Paimon get to meet them? Seriously? So, imaginary friends just disappear when you grow up? Tragically. I mean, they're imaginary. Because they have this game in Liyue. Have you heard of it? It's a four-player game, but it seems you guys can play it with just the two of you. Oh, Traveler. Oh, fancy. fancy meeting you here. Ah, oh, Tone Deaf Bard. <laughs> Sorry for the Raiden Electro thing. <laughs> huh? It's still behind. Why can't Lisa use it? Hmm. Perhaps it's because she lacks a certain childlike sense of wonder. Or maybe there's some other reason for it. If you want to know for sure, just ask her yourself sometime. So you can see them? Go on, tell us. What does his imaginary friend look like? <laughs> that would be telling. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's all yours now, traveler. Take a look. See if you can see Nora's imaginary friend. Wait, really? Do you see him? What? Do you see him? It really works. Ah, huh, so it does work for you too. Paimon wants to see? Wait, but this gizmo isn't in Paimon's size. Really? Alright then, you'll just have to be Paimon's eyes on the ground. Let's go see what everyone's imaginary friends look like. You can see everyone's imaginary friends. Should you be trapped in the windless land? Okay. Flora from the flower shop always seems kinda floaty headed. You know, Paimon bets she has an imaginary friend. So he's spying on people's imaginary friends. <laughs> okay. Isn't Flora the one always talking about Dilu? Oh no, no, that's the one. Flora is the girl here. <laughs> Imaginary friend for floaty headed floor. Friends a plan. floaty floaty. Wait, imaginary friends can be plants now? <laughs> Hi, traveler. Hi, bard. Sure, how can I help? Hmm. Oh, you mean Mr. Floaty? Most people can't see him. Mr. Floaty is my bestest friend. We grew up together. Uh, no fair. Paimon <laughs> hates feeling left out. Flora, why exactly are you friends with a bloaty floaty? What's wrong with it? I always wanted to be friends with a plant who could fly. Friends <laughs> with a flying plant? Why? <laughs> because then when it's windy, you and your friend can fly off into the sky together. You gotta admit that's pretty cool. Isn't that called being blown away? <laughs> 
That's what some people like to call it. I only found out this plant existed from an explorer who told me stories of his adventures. I think his name was... Stanley. Stanley, I think I heard of him before. Have I? Or is that someone else? Stanley's an adventurer. And you can tell he's an expert at it from the stories he tells. <laughs> the amazing adventures of Stanley are super famous in Mondstadt. He's in the city at the moment. You should go ask him to tell you some of his stories. That sounds like a fun idea for next time. But uh, right now we have other things to attend to. Okay. Timmy. Oh no, the birds. Timmy's imaginary Which friend. Shall we interrogate next? Paimon's thinking. Oh, how about that little guy on the bridge? Oh boy. Should I try to... Huh. I missed. Stabilize. No, I, did. I only got one. <laughs> Oops. Oh, what the hell? You can't be serious. Ruin guy. <laughs> no way. Timmy's imaginary friend is a ruin guard. Well, uh, that is unexpected. Timmy's imaginary friend is a ruin guard. I feel like guardian angels, but come on, am I seeing things? <laughs> I'm freaking out right now. That thing is sure to attack us. Uh, what say you? We postpone our conversation with Timmy for the time being. Right, we shouldn't. We shouldn't have attacked <laughs> those words. <laughs> uh. Huh? Paimon has a favorite line. Uh, seriously? <laughs> oh, how about we explore the area ahead of us later? That's the usual line when we can't go out of bounds. Children are more open-minded. Is that why they can think up all kinds of imaginary friends? Ah, <sighs> fitting, isn't it? That the City of Freedom should be home to children with such boundless powers of imagination. I still want well, the chicken. What about adults' imaginations? Let's ask some adults at the tavern. Hello. <laughs> I've seen memes of Timmy. Uh, being the final boss or what? There are some memes here and there. See, I never thought imaginary friend is a ruin guard. <laughs> hey, did look and Kaya. The thing about wine is, you have to drink it at the tavern, or you miss out on half the fun. Seems to me you'd find some way of keeping yourself amused, even if you drank alone. <laughs> if I didn't know any better. I would say you're being deliberately uncivil. Just drink responsibly on my premises, okay? <laughs> oh, <laughs> and if I there. did have one too many, what then? You'd throw me out along with the trash, is that it? Throw you out? <laughs> you know, the same way you threw out Father's legacy. You sold off his mansion. Or maybe you've forgotten. I see no reason to cling to things that have outlived their purpose. Is that so? Then I trust you were most swift indeed to part with a certain vase. Sorry, I have no recollection. That's odd. Master Diluc, I'm sure I saw such a vase <coughs> in your home. A beautiful one, unmistakable in fact. Yeah, so though there's no imaginary friends for the adults, sadly. Seems our suspicions were right. Grown-ups don't appear to have imaginary friends. Like I said, a lack of childlike wonder. So people just stop dreaming when they grow up? Okay, well, Paimon for one never wants to grow up. <sighs> this raises an interesting question. At what age exactly do people's imaginary friends disappear? Let's go and check. At what age? Surely must have some imagination left, don't you think? Uh-oh. Somehow Paimon finds the idea of not being able to see Ellen's imaginary friend kinda scary. Jean? <laughs> Is that Jean? Jean? What? 
Helen's imaginary friend? Yeah, she's so conscientious, it's terrifying. Huh? Oh, hello. What are you guys doing? Are you always training here? You bet. Today, I heard Stanley talking about his adventures. It was incredible. It got me really pumped up. Oh, I hope I can be as outstanding as him one day. So that you can fight shoulder to shoulder with Master Jean? <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, I want to become a knight. And if I got to go on an adventure with Jean herself, well, even better. Seems Ellen really looks up to Jean. Oh, thanks. I was thinking, it's not every day I get to hang out with the honorary knight. Would you join me for some sword training? Oh, mm -hmm. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? No, not this again. <laughs> Do I have to use uh, Traveler? I could just use Zongli and it's over. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how to do it. I'm impressed. Yeah, just get Zongli and then you can do it. Oh, thank you. It's clear I still have a long way to go in my training. <laughs> so modest. I for one think you're quite the pro at this already. Oh, well. I'm exhausted from training, so clearly my fitness needs some work. One day, though, I'll smash all the training dummies in Mondstadt. Ellen, Ellen, she's our girl. If she can't do it, um, Hilly Churl. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks. <laughs> Shoot, I got so caught up here, I forgot there's something I was supposed to do today. Ugh, but I'm so sore from training. I can hardly move. Honorary night. Could you deliver a message to Jack for me? He's gone adventuring at the Temple of the Lion with Stanley today. Stanley's a truly legendary adventurer, renowned in all of Mondstadt. He once set foot in the Mare Javari. Mare Javari, oh my god. <laughs> Reminding of the Noel second hangout, I got it wrong. We were gonna meet up tonight and discuss adventure plans. <sighs> Could you let him know it'll have to be another day? Great, thank you so much. Temple of the Lion, huh? One of the first few dungeons I went. <laughs> it's been so long. The Great Adventurous Stanley, level 79. The Temple of the Lion? Yes, let's go. We explored this place once before, didn't we? During the Storm Terror incident. Seems like it's now a hot spot for adventurers. That can only mean one thing. We didn't bag all the loot last time. <laughs> all right. Last time I just straight away used Venti to fight Storm Terror. I never used him. Just to test. Multi shot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and this is. Yahoo! Oh ho ho. Wind current. Can't wait to use Venti as my exploration <laughs> to explore. So if I hold it becomes wind current. If I don't Let's play. it's just normal wind attack, okay. Alright, let's go. I can't wait. Looks <laughs> like we can't go any further. We can just go up. Not to worry. Allow me. Yep. Who wander in the dust, the wind shall send soaring sky high. I mean, there's that thing over there. Do I really need to? Why is there a platform where I. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Only that. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Oh yeah, I never use the burst. Untry the burst. Hold on. Time for takeoff. Let's play. <laughs> Illusion shattered. Oh. Brace yourself. Think you can get away? Let's go. <laughs> Let's play. Okay. Jack and Stanley. Let me take this first. All right. <laughs> I was so sure I was about to die. To be fair, that could have gone either way. So, you must be Jack the Adventurer, I assume? Yes. Who are you? Actually, we came looking for you. Ellen has a message for you. She said she won't be able to join you today to plan out your next adventure together. She'll join you some other time. Oh, I see. I feel bad you had to come all this way to find me. <laughs> and then had to rescue me. Huh? I don't see what all the fuss is about. It was nothing that I, Stanley, mm. couldn't have dealt with by myself. Whoa! You are Stanley? You are that legendary adventurer? Renowned in all of Mondstadt? Who once set foot in the Mare Jafari? <laughs> the very same. <laughs> I must say, it's an honor to meet one as legendary as yourself. Well then, how would everyone like to proceed? Head back or head further inside? <laughs> well, I think you're now in the safe hands of Stanley, <laughs> the great explorer and legend of Mondstadt. Really? In which okay, case, then. I head back now. Okay, motion passed by unanimous consent. Let's head further in. We keep going then. So, I'm Complete the domain you adventure. Came here because you want to hear my adventure stories. Am I right? No, we really were just looking for Jack. What? Do you know who I am? I am Stanley, renowned oh, adventurer of Mondstadt. Yeah, I think we got that. Yeah, we know that. Your attitude says me, you don't got that. We're with Barbados. I am the living legend. <laughs> Come on. Stanley, who braved the Mare Javari. Enough already. <laughs> Amazing guy. <laughs> well, Jack will listen, won't you? Where was I? You and your partner reached the Mare Javari, a famously terrifying place with not a wisp of wind. I'm waiting for the direct. Precisely. <laughs> there was a deathly silence in the air. A sea of ashes stretched out before us. As far as the eye could see. Okay. Suddenly, my partner was caught you know in a whirlpool whipped up by an evil beast. Look, I managed to grab hold of him just in time. Wow. So, did he make it? Sadly, he did. I know he set foot on home rail once more. When the gentle breeze carried away the tears welling up in my eyes. <laughs> Poor <sighs> guy. How could that happen? Still? Jack, you can't cry so easily if you want to be a great adventurer. If you're still going, I'm going to stop fighting. All right, yeah. I can't. I, I know. Because an adventurer's proudest achievement is to die in the course of their final adventure. But whatever happens, no adventurer should ever die in a place where the wind doesn't blow. The wind has to bring your spirit back to Mondstadt. That's right. To die in a place where the wind blows and to have your spirit carried back to Mondstadt. Yes. This is the longest That's dialogue I've seen. Yeah. Although, the most
most I can aspire to right now is beginner's commissions. Like clearing out the slimes, clogging up the sewers. You shouldn't die in a place with no wind. Why do they keep going on about that? Hmm. Is that why Stanley thinks the Mare Javari is the most terrifying place in the world? Because there's no wind there? Alright, fine, he's over. And what is this puzzle? I'm having fun using Venti. And people are talking about the Mare Javari. <laughs> Alright. Alright, these two. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I see. Well done. Gather. Shine down. Ha, yahoo! I wouldn't gliding be. <laughs> we go. <laughs> Gather. I will have order. The three are coins. Think you can get away? <laughs> Brace yourself. I want to keep trying to use one too. Yahoo! Oh man, it's over already. <laughs> Nenama detector. Oh what? There's two of them. What? Stanley has an imaginary friend? It seems his imaginary friend is a seasoned warrior, covered in scars from head to foot, and a look of staunch determination on his face. <laughs> You're saying his imaginary friend is an idealized version of his own self? Interesting idea, but is it true? Please excuse me. Uh, I'll be leaving now. Bye, Stanley. Do you two still have time to spare? Mm -hmm. What is it? A few days ago, Stanley got drunk and told me a secret. Something he's never told anyone before. The weapons he took on his adventure all those years ago. They were none other than those once wielded by Mondstadt's greatest hero, Vanessa herself. The Sword of Brilliant Valor and the Shield of Magnificent Honor. I don't know whether you believe me, but apparently, the both the sword it. and shield are still right here in Mondstadt, over in Dadaupa Gorge. Since you guys are the experts at this, can you come with me to try and retrieve these two legendary weapons? I don't know. Outstanding individuals always come with their quirks, right? If I can just get a hold of something impressive enough to show my family what I'm capable of, <clears throat> maybe they'll finally come around to the idea of me being an adventurer. Right now, I'm just a rookie. My abilities are limited. And my parents don't support my goals one bit. So, what do you say? Help a guy out? I can't bring myself to tell Stanley about it, because my reasons are so... Uh, selfish. <laughs> but... I swear I'll give the weapons back to him as soon as I'm done. Aw, poor Jack. Let's help him out. Venti, you coming too? Mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, one other thing. I have a bottle of rare vintage wine really? that I had someone fetch for me a couple years ago. Help me find these weapons and it's all yours. Uh, uh, Upa Gorge, That's was it? it <laughs> Let's hurry. There's no time to lose. Okay. That's all it takes to convince. And why is Stanley kind of sus? I say Venti is fun to play. You can use wind current anytime. <laughs> Search for the sword of Radiant Valor. Oh, there it is. A bunch of hilly churls. Are they holding some kind of ceremony? That's the sword. And what's with that pile of knickknacks? <laughs> Are they worshipping them? 
That's the sword. Seems so. That must be the sword of brilliant valor, surely. Illusion shattered. Adventure time. Torn to oblivion. Maybe. Okay. Wait. This is order. Bring a meteor into the. <laughs> Let's light it up! Everybody stand back! Oh, I'm on. We treat the sort of brilliant valley. were already celebrating this is in terrible shape and it's so basic i <sighs> i'm at a loss for words <laughs> it's like a basic hmm. weapon say jack have you ever seen an animo crystal fly <clears throat> they're found in the open country around mondstadt city don't tell me to find those things if you saw one in broad daylight you wouldn't bat an eyelid but in the pitch blackness of night its brilliant glow is mesmerizing Okay. It truly resembles an exquisite crystal dancing in the night air. Is Valor not the same? When everything is going your way, it seems meaningless. Fades into the background. But when you're in dire straits, Valor is the thing that gets you fired up and fighting back. It's the brilliant ray of light that guides you out from the darkness. You're right. You're right. Then this has to be it. This is the Sword of Brilliant Valor. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, we got our sword. Now we just need that shield. Let's scout around. It's definitely in Dada Upa Gorge, so... Uh, huh? Hmm? There's somebody there. Stanley. Stanley? What's he doing here? He's acting so weird. What happened? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Uh huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Uh, just one of those Mora spouting weasel thieves passed Mora by us all. Mora spouting weasel thieves? What? Where? Uh, I wanna see. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> uh, we have a shield to find, remember? <laughs> I'm feeling <laughs> sus about what Stanley is up to. This is just holding a shield? Okay. Is that it? That's just like a Lo and behold, plain the shield. shield of magnificent honor. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. It's a chunk of wood. A chunk of scrap wood with the handle attached. Who in their right mind would use this as a shield? There's also wine stains on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was just taken from a wine barrel. <laughs> and yet, my bard's intuition tells me that this is none other than the Shield of Magnificent Honor. Okay, Venti thinks Warriors that must wear their be, battle scars from must be Stanley and shields are setting no up something. Surely an intact shield is one that has shied away from the battlefield. It's not the broken and yeah, splintered the broken shield one, yeah. the one that has fought in countless wars and lived to tell the tale? Though the soldier's body be tired and torn, still they <laughs> fight till the very end, till they have no blood left to bleed. Such magnificent strength yeah, of will. Of Is that not the true meaning of honor? You do have a point. Shiny new shields don't stay new and shiny for long. Okay then. Well, maybe if we ask <laughs> nicely, ask he'll nicely? Just let us take the shield of magnificent honor for free. What if we break it if he attacks? Ahem. Excuse me, Mr. Hilly Churro? Dala. Dala? <laughs> well, okay. You take it from here. Hope you've picked up some Hilly Churlian by now. If not, there's always body language. Must imitate. Friendship improve? What? Excuse me? Seems cheerful enough. Maybe negotiating will work out. Oh, what? 
That's not lightning. Uh oh, he did not seem to appreciate that. Venti sing song you give shield, okay. Um Mani Nini Biao Domo It might go up, it might go down. <clears throat> Why Venti sing song? <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> okay. Seems cheerful enough. Maybe negotiating will work after all. Plata. Manita. Manita. <laughs> okay. Oh, We're yeah. getting somewhere. He actually gave us the shield. So we don't have to fight. Guys, thank you so much. I can't believe I actually found them. Mom, Dad, check out the legendary weapons I found. Hey, wait! The wine! You promised! Duh, and I actually helped a lot this time. Hmm? What are you doing here, Stanley? Out for a stroll? <laughs> uh, uh, hey, 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 what are you doing here, bud? Fancy that, huh? You, uh, uh out for a stroll, too? Oh, that's right. An after-dinner stroll, to be precise. We were also helping a friend look for something. Paimon? Starting to think Stanley might be a fraud. Did Stanley plant the it's sword and shield here in advance so as to not hurt Jack's feelings? Adventurers must be pretty familiar with Dada Upa Gorge. You fought battles here before, after all. <laughs> you better believe it. I could navigate this whole area with my eyes closed. Wow. And I admire your perseverance. And your memory, too. It's only to be expected of a great adventurer like me. You guys had better watch out, though. This place is crawling with hillichuros. I, uh, I'll get back to my, um, uh, stroll now. Goodbye. <laughs> Guilty conscience, much? Well, he shouldn't have gotten so carried away bragging to Jack, should he? Although... On further reflection, I must say I'm intrigued. Someone who can't let go of the past, and gives up on the present instead. I wonder, if such a person was forced to take their first step towards the future, which way would they go? What are you talking mm -hmm. about? <laughs> I'm just musing to myself. Anyway, I propose we take a trip to Angel's Share tonight. Okay then. Well, I didn't. I didn't think that worked. <laughs> we actually got got friendship with them. <laughs> to the angel. All right then. <laughs> the look is here. Stanley's there. You know, I'm glad I actually had the chance to come down here today. The tavern isn't overcrowded, and I couldn't be in a better mood. <laughs> Sit behind Stanley. Tell me, Stan. Tell me what should I do? Tell me, Stanley. Huh? Why does he keep repeating his own name? <laughs> Surely not. Even I've never heard tell of a second Stanley. Oh, Stan. It should have been me. I should have been the one to die in the Beljabari that day. Why won't your spirit come and stop me from using the name? Oh. Why? Why? If only you hadn't had to save a rookie like me, you would have never died in that windless corner. Adventurer, destined to become a legend one day. But now, that'll never happen because your life was cut short, and all because of a worthless tag of home. Uh, does anyone get what's going on here? Yeah, I think I get it. I think our friend really did make it to the Mare Javari. 
And I think the tragedy he encountered there was real too. But the real adventurer, the real Stanley, that was his partner, not him. The real Stanley is the one who died to save our Stanley. Wait, so the only reason our Stanley is called Stanley in the first place is because he stole the other Stanley's name? I fear that may be the case. Stanley, for so many years I've lived in fear. Fear that Mon's dad will forget all about you. So I tell you adventure stories at every opportunity. Mon's dad must remember. Stanley reached the center of the Madrivari. He's the greatest adventurer there ever was, and he lives on. Stanley will never die, because I am Stanley. I am Stanley. I'm sorry, Stanley. Get too old. Now. Are you guys planning on eavesdropping much longer? He knows. <laughs> Yikes! We're busted! Try to make conversation. Damn, this music. I never heard this music in the tavern before. Stanley's really to fond of that kid, don't you think? Jack. Jack. Hmm? Jack left. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for not telling him about my secret. Huh? All of a sudden you're facing the facts? That isn't like you. Just now, I couldn't bear to look at him. His adventurous spirit is so pure. Unblemished. Just a weary old freckless frog. But that kid is a brand new shining star, full of potential. I cannot allow his dreams to be crushed. Mm, you're not a total fraud. Stanley's adventure stories and experiences. They're all true, aren't they? Stories? Experiences? What's the point of them anymore? To be honest, my memories of adventuring and of Stanley. They're hazy these days. That's my biggest secret of all. And my biggest fear. All these years, I've been living to tell his story. But his personality and the details of his life, I don't remember them clearly anymore. <laughs> but the one thing I can never forget is that he died in a windless land where his spirit can never be recovered. Exactly. Even in his memory, the real Stanley isn't the living, breathing friend he knew at all. Instead, he's become fixed on the image of him as that battle-scarred warrior. And that image has held him captive his entire life. I'm too old. I never let go. But still, so much has slipped away. I'm completely and utterly worthless. No adventurer should have to go that way. No adventurer ever. Hans Archibald. Hmm? My true name? How did you know? <laughs> uh, uh, the wind. 
I can hear the wind blowing in the Bear Javari. Oh. Oh. I always believed you existed. Will you hand me your old friend's spirit? Wow. Damn. I, I, I can't believe it. Thank you all. And thank you, Lord Barbados. I'm sorry. It's gonna take me some time to calm back down. But I think that I'm gonna be okay. Ah, wonderful. Stanley reconnected with his true self and Jack can finally go his own way. This calls for a celebration. And by celebration, I do, of course, mean libation. And by libation, you mean you're not leaving <laughs> this tavern till you're too drunk to walk, right? <laughs> no, the wine here's too expensive. Jack still owes me some wine, though. He promised me a rare vintage in exchange for helping him out, remember? I'll head off to fetch the wine. See you shortly. Let's meet at the usual place. Usual place, all right. Okay, and the music's back to normal. Wow, right in front of uh, I want to say Stanley, but his name is Hans something. <laughs> he can he can straight away know that it's Barbados. Okay. Oh, it's not the tree; it's the statue again. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting the wind rise tree, the usual place. Oh, there. <laughs> Sitting on the statue. Okay. There we go. There. <laughs> <coughs> regular cider. Ah, this takes me back. The first time I saw this view, I hadn't even taken on this form yet. Hmm? It was about 2600 years ago, before the world had come under the rule of the Seven. Wait, 2600 years ago? You mean... At that time, old Mondstadt was ruled by a tyrant, who sealed off the city's perimeter with a ferocious hurricane. Even the birds couldn't get in or out. That's like a bit like Storm Terrace Claire. A bit. Old Mondstadt? Oh, yeah. Pyla remembers! Nowadays it's known as Storm Terrace Lair, right? You mentioned it before! That's right. The tyrant of the winds who once ruled from that tower was Decarabian, god of storms. Back then, I was but a wisp among the thousand winds. I wasn't a god of anything. I didn't even have a human form. I was just a tiny elemental being who lived in the wind. A gentle breeze bringing subtle changes for the better. Or tiny seeds of hope. A tiny elemental being? Without a human hmm. form? Venti, do you mean you used to look different than you do now? Yep. My current form is not so different from the situation with fake Stanley. <laughs> I took the form of a friend. Another flashback? An old Mondstadt transpired the story to be told. Where a tyrant ruled, I met a boy not that old. The lyre he played, and for a song he sought. But storm walls blocked blue sky, he was sincerely distraught. I do so wish to see the birds in flight, said he, his strong eyes filling with light. But his voice was lost in the howling wind's churn. For the whirlwind takes and gives not in return. The 
true sky and songs that cageless soar. Were they not wishes worth fighting for? So the boy turned, extending his hand. Let us cast down the tyrant and his walls from this land. Mm -hmm. The young boy raised in the flag of revolt, and I threw myself into freedom's tumult. Victorious were we who fought to be free. Gods fell, winds whipped, nations shook violently. In the smoke, a despot met his doom. We watched as his great tower fell none too soon. Mondstadt began anew, the story passed down, and since then never has another worn its crown. Ooh. So then what? So Venti took a form of his friend, that's why he looked like this. What happened to your friend? Same as Stanley. Say Paimon. Do you wish to hear the next part of the story? Yes, of course! The suspense is killing Paimon! Uh... <laughs> but Venti's telling his story! What makes you suddenly want to have a meat feast? <laughs> Getting a little... peckish or something. <laughs> huh. You're so smart, it almost makes me uncomfortable sometimes. But then, maybe it's right that true friends can tell what the other is thinking. A refreshing drink, a gentle breeze. <sighs> Moments like this always take me back. Back to a song that I first heard from him. Fly, fly away. Like a bird in the sky. See the world on my behalf. To the heavens may you fly. That was it. Okay. Wait, I just want to know. 200,000 Mora. Alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, Venti, you got any more for us? This green clad figure is uncharacteristically silent. Sometimes even the lesson wind grows heavy in his grief but not that models could ever see a moment. Alright. Alright Venti. I hope to get you next banner. <laughs> so this is Venti's story, yeah? I guess Mona might be next. Mona will it'll be the last Monster character. So yeah, next I'll do Mona's story quest. Probably the last Monster character story. Alright, that's it for this video. Almost an hour. Not yet an hour. Almost. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.